So let's just say, okay, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit now. Okay, let's just say we have, um, let's just say we have, uh, let's just say, hold on, let's see. Let's just say we have uh, 6.022 times 10 to the 25th, okay? C2H6, which is, which is um, I believe this is ethane, okay? So C2H6 molecules. How many grams does that translate to of C2H6? Okay, that's what it's asking you. How many grams of C2H6 is that? So when you use the same systematic approach, let me zoom out just a tad bit, okay? Um, we have to determine where's our starting point. Our starting point is right here, molecules of X. The molecules of X would be C2A6. So we're trying to go from molecules of X, which is molecules of ethane, to grams of ethane. So we're going to use the bottom set of arrows to go from here to there and from moles of X to grams of X. We're using these bottom conversion factors, which is basically the inverse of these top ones. Uh, so, with that being said, let's start. Our starting point is our 6.022 times 10 to the 25th, which is our given. So, 6.022 times 10 to the 25th, right? Um, molecules of uh, C2H6. I just don't have enough space to write it all straight out. So you guys have to bear with me a little bit, okay? So multiply that by our first conversion factor, which will be this one right here. We're going from molecules of X, which is molecules of ethane, to moles of X, which is moles of ethane. So our first conversion factor will be right here. We'll just put that down right there as it's written. So 6.022 on the bottom times 10 to the 23rd molecules of C2H6, okay, you guys can see that, one mole of C2H6, um, ethane, so basically we have managed to get from here to there using this first conversion factor, now we're at moles, so we're going to go from moles to grams using this conversion factor here, which is the, exactly the molar mass, okay, times it by the molar mass, which would be one mole of X on the bottom, I shouldn't put X, I should put ethane, C2H6, grams of C2H6, okay? So again, we're going to use the same technique in order to determine the molar mass of ethane. I'm going to approximate, carbon weighs about 12 grams, okay? We have two of them, so I'll be 24. Hydrogen weighs about one gram, uh, uh, one gram per mole, so it would be about six grams per mole here. So. 24 grams per mole plus 6 grams per mole equals about 30 grams per mole. Again, look at the periodic table. Two carbons, so whatever number is at the periodic table times it by 2. Whatever number there is for hydrogen times it by 6 on the periodic table. Add the two numbers together, and then you get your answer. But I'm approximating it, so it's 30 grams per 1 mole. Um, and there we have it. That's our. That's basically converting from molecules of ethane to grams of ethane. We have the first little intermediate step here. So let's make sure our units cancel out. We have molecules of uh, ethane and molecules of ethane cancel out, right? That's beautiful. Um, next thing is, let me zoom in just a tad bit. Next thing is the moles of ethane. So the moles of ethane and the moles of ethane cancel out. And we're left off with the grams of ethane. And that's exactly what we wanted. So let's crank this out on our calculator. So six. Uh, so again, put parentheses when you do it in the calculator. So parentheses 6.022 times 10 to the 25th um, divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd right um, equals 100 which is pretty nice times it by 30 I got 3,000 3,000 grams Double check your guys' then uh, you guys' answers and my calculation, my answer as well. I got three thousand grams. Okay, so again, uh, get this number in parentheses, divided by this number, and multiply by thirty. So hundred times thirty, about three thousand. That looks right. 
So 3,000 grams of C2H6. So six, if we have that many molecules of ethane, this many molecules of ethane, it'll come out to weigh 3,000 grams if you put it on a balance or anything like that. Let's do one more example, okay? Let me uh, erase this. Let me erase this. Okay, there we have it. Okay, there we have it. Okay. So for a final example, we have basically is uh, the teacher is going to ask you. Um, we have 1.5 times 10 to the 24th carbon atoms. Um, what does it translate to in regards to the mass of acetic acid? So there we have H C two H three O two. Okay. Um, so again, we're going to be very systematic about our approach. Okay. If we have that many atoms. Okay. If we have a sample of carbon atoms that is from acetic acid, what is that mass of acetic acid? Okay. So very systematic again in our approach. We're going to determine our starting point which is here and we're going to try to go to our gram so we have two intermediate steps okay so with that we're going to put our givens here we'll start with our given which is 1.5 times 10 to the 24th carbon atoms right so 1.5 times 10 to the 24th carbon atoms times it by the, our first conversion factor which will be this right here one molecule of X per atoms of Y so how many atoms of carbon do we have so atoms I could put number I could again make this a little bit more clear like I did to the top and put number of Y atoms I could have made it a little bit more clear but nonetheless let me just carbon atoms per one molecule of C2 uh, H2H3O2 right it's a little bit messy but nonetheless you guys get the drift so one molecule of H2H3O2 which is acetic acid has how many carbon atoms well you look at the um, the, the the formula the chemical formula um, it's there's two carbon atoms per every one molecule of uh, acetic acid so we put a two on the bottom and now we multiply and by our next conversion factor that we have right there so we'll put uh, hopefully I have some space but nonetheless it will be 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of HC2 H3 O2 right and then we have up here we we'll put one mole of HC2H3O2 I should have picked a better uh, molecule to use because it's a pretty long molecule so right so again 6.0 we use this basic conversion factor we have up here and then our final and basically that linked us from molecules to moles okay and now we're gonna link it finally from moles to mass that's what we're trying to find and it will be one mole this will be the molar mass and then basically we're gonna multiply this by the molar mass which will be um, one mole of HC2H3O2 right to the molar mass which will be in grams per mole and the, I'll have to write this again H HC2H3O2 just to show that I wrote it out I'll move this to the side hold on one second it's got stuck right there okay again I'm gonna approximate the molar mass of acetic acid um, two carbons they're about 12 each so it'll be 24 grams per mole 24 plus 3 uh, at 1 gram per mole will be about 27 uh, 27 plus 32 27, hold on one second, 27, 27, 32, 63, I believe, 63 um, grams per mole, let me just make sure, actually that's wrong, um, let me just do it in my calculator, hold on one second, it will be 12 times 2 plus, <clears throat> 
12 times 2 plus 4 plus 32, it comes out to 60. What am I doing? Okay. Horrible. S about 60 grams per mole. 24 plus 4 is 28. 28 plus 30. Yeah, what am I, what am I thinking? 60. Yeah, that makes sense. So let's make sure our units cancel out. I know that was a little bit long-winded one right there, calculation, but let's look at it, okay? So again, we're starting off with our 1.5 times 10 to the 24th carbon atoms. We put that right there as our given. We're going to do our conversion factor, which is the first one right here, linking um, atoms to molecules. That's what we did here, and that's exactly the same format we have there. So one molecule of acetic acid has two carbon atoms. Um, and then we use our next conversion factor from molecules to moles. Um, we're going to plug this exactly here. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of acetic acid to one mole of acetic acid. And our final thing is linking moles to grams, which is our molar mass. Um, and that's the conversion factor we use there. So it will be 60 grams of acetic acid to one mole of acetic acid. Okay. Put in our calculator. Again, this part is not that significant, but we'll do it anyways. You guys uh, check it on your guys' calculator. Um, 1.5 times parentheses make sure you don't, don't forget that 1.5 times 10 to the 24th divided by 2 I got 7.5 times 10 to the 23rd divided by parentheses 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd I got 1.24 and then times it by 60 74 I got 74.7 grams I'll write that right here. That's our answer, 74.7 grams. Again, I'm not worrying about sig figs, but nonetheless, that's the answer. Um, basically, the saying, if you have a 74.7 gram sample of acetic acid, that's how many atoms of carbon you should expect to see. Okay, and this is as straightforward as that, okay? It's good to try to translate and try to understand what the answer means, okay? And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, this pretty much sums up, again, this is the very basics of conversions, okay? Of converting from one thing to the next, okay? Um, there are many shortcuts that you guys will learn eventually. Um, there are many other things that you could convert to and from. Um, but nonetheless, I wanted to keep it very basic. I wanted to give you the most important things to understand and realize, which is the grams, moles, molecules, and atoms. And how to convert from one thing to the next using a very systematic approach and using the conversion factors that I've shown you guys here. Eventually, you're not going to have to use these as guidelines. You will remember them in your head, okay? Right now, you might have to refer to my flow chart. Uh, you know, I think that's a very good thing you guys should do. Make note of my flow chart, copy it, and use it as you're doing some practice problems. Eventually, you'll get to a point where you'll get rid of that those crutches, basically this flow chart, and be able to do it on your own automatically. It's going to come natural. And I know right now, if you guys are just starting this, it may seem like a far stretch. You know, what I'm saying right now, basically, you know, weaning you guys off of this, off of this flow chart. But eventually, trust me, as you guys do much more problems with this specific topic, you guys will get extremely comfortable and you guys will definitely not need to uh, refer to this flow chart. Okay. And that's pretty much it, guys. Again, realize there are more things you convert to, but again, I want to keep it very basic. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned a lot of things from this. I hope this made um, made sense. Again, these numbers are approximate because I approximated the molar mass. Um, and I'm not referring to sick figs, but nonetheless, I think uh, this does a you know nice job of uh, giving you the basics. So again, check out the Facebook fan page. Link in the description box. Tell your friends about my YouTube channel. Tell your friends about my fan page. Show your love, okay? Show your love for your boy. And um, that's pretty much it. You know, I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, until next time, this is Mobile 12 signing out.